Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. After discussing the causes and pathophysiology of polyhydramnios in my previous videos, now I would like to talk about the complications of polyhydramnios. And you can find the links of other videos related to polyhydramnios in the i button in the top right corner of this video. The complications of polyhydramnios relate primarily to the excessive uterine distension and as such are determined by the accident and the rate of amniotic fluid accumulation. First of all, let us talk about the maternal complications of polyhydramnios. In mild cases, minimal maternal symptoms such as general abdominal discomfort and slight dyspnea may develop. In moderate to severe polyhydramnios, marked respiratory distress and severe abdominal symptoms like heartburn, constipation, sensation of tightness in the stomach, cramping or contraction may ensue. What are the fetal complications of polyhydramnios? Those include first of all, the fetal congenital abnormalities. Massive hydramnios is associated with congenital abnormalities in about 30% of cases. Second is that of the preterm delivery. An increased risk of the preterm rupture of membrane and labor is observed in polyhydramnios due to mechanical pressure exerted by the amniotic fluid. Interestingly, the underlying cause as opposed to the severity of abandoned amniotic fluid volume appears significant with regard to timing of the preterm labor onset and the underlying cause may include the underlying congenital anomaly and maternal diabetes. Third fetal complication is that of the malpresentation. Malpresentation, for example, transverse lie, breech presentation, etc., is also more likely with the polyhydramnios as the fetus has more room to move within the uterine cavity. And the fourth fetal complication is that of the placental abruption and an unexpected pubic bleeding that occurs with polyhydramnios due to mechanical pressure exerted by amniotic fluid which causes the premature separation of the placenta and unexpected PV bleeding. Next come the intrapartum complications of polyhydramnios. The incidence of these complications appear higher with polyhydramnios and those are first of all operative delivery rate that is higher when polyhydramnios exist due to labor dystocia, secondary to excessive uterine size and poor contraction and an increased risk of unstable life. Second intrapartum complication include premature rupture of membranes. Thirdly, the cord prolapse that occurs when there is sudden uterine decompression following membrane rupture. They exist the exact risk of this, however, remains unknown. Another intrapartum complication include uterine inertia. Moreover, there is risk of retained placenta and in the end, the risk of shock in polyhydramnios shouldn't be underestimated. Now, what are the postnatal complications of polyhydramnios? Postnatally, the incidence of postpartum hemorrhage is increased secondary to uterine atony in patients with pregnancies complicated by polyhydramnios. Next comes perinatal morbidity. Associations between idiopathic polyhydramnios and perinatal morbidities are poor apart from a strong positive association between polyhydramnios and birth weight of more than 90th centile. The predictive ability of aberrant amniotic fluid volume to predict outcome is generally poor. And that is due to poor sensitivity. And last come the perinatal mortality rate. A prospective study examining the fetal outcomes in pregnancies complicated by aberrant amniotic fluid volume found that the perinatal mortality rate is significantly higher compared with both the normal. And this is the complete list of all the complications of polyhydramnios. The maternal complications include abdominal discomfort, dyspnea, respiratory distress, and severe abdominal symptoms. The fetal complications include congenital abnormalities, preterm delivery, malpresentation, placental abruption, and unexpected pubic bleeding.
Intrapartum complications include operative vaginal delivery, premature rupture of membranes, cord prolapse, uterine inertia, retained placenta, and shock. The postnatal complications include postpartum hemorrhage, perinatal morbidity, perinatal mortality. That was all about the complications of polyhydramnios. I would like to complete my presentation with this quote. Never lose hope. Storm make people stronger and never lost forever. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Allah Hafiz.